start with my presentation. It is a video with an audio background. So this is a brief atlas of cystoscopy and it starts now. In bladder pain syndrome, interstitial cystitis, cystoscopy must be done as a comfortable procedure, preferably under general anesthesia. The only definitive diagnostic criterion for BPSIC is presence of Hunter's lesions. Non-specific findings commonly encountered are glomerulations, mucosal cracks, raining of blood, Hunter's lesions, typically stellate shaped structures on the distensible part of bladder. Rest of the bladder is usually having normal mucosa except in late end stage bladders. The center of the lesion has a stellate shape with linear extensions which appear pale ischemic zone. Capillaries arranged in atypical parallel array seem to be radiating at right angles from this pale area. From a distance they appear to be a patch of erythema. Rayish. Slough at the summit of the pale stellate area. Are there any stages of Hunter's lesions which corresponds to the phase of progression of disease? This is a typical Hunter's lesion in an early disease where the rest of the bladder is healthy and appears to be compliant and well distensible. This is a little longer standing disease. Note that the lesions are more erythematous and there appears to be tendency for confluence. Another case of early Hunter's lesion. Note that after hydrodistension, draining of blood is occurring only from the center of the Hunter's lesion and nowhere else in the bladder. This is characteristic of early disease. This is a case of three years duration. Note the characteristic morphology and multiplicity of Hunter's lesions. Note that one lesion is close to the trigon on right side. The cracking of the epidemic central zone upon hydro distension is clearly visible. After hydro distension, the lesions are being electro using a ball electro long-standing disease with diffuse mucosal edema and small capacity bladder. Hydro distension and electroablation has been done. Note, the central cracking of the lesion upon hydrodistension. The rest of bladder doesn't show any cracking or bleeding. This case depicts non-specific glomerulations which are diffusely occupying the distensible part of bladder. Note that this is not specific finding and is not diagnostic of BPS IC.
This is a long standing case with rigid subservience upon hydro distension. The presence of typical Huddle's lesion is diagnostic. Draining of blood is only from the Hunter's lesion. Long standing case with multiple Hunter's lesion fibrotic bladder. Note the slight appearance of Hunter's lesions and compare them with the early cases depicted before in this video. This is the case of aggressive disease. The Hunter's lesions were treated a few weeks ago and the patient had recurrence of symptoms within weeks. The partly healed Hunter's lesions are visible. Note that upon hydro distension, only the areas with Hunter's lesions bleed while rest of mucosa is simply inflamed. The print had been treated with hydro distension and abduction of Hunter's lesions with good response for over two years. The cystoscopy was done for relapse of symptoms. Note, the central cracking. The science of BPS, I see is evolving. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, I hope yeah. the presentation was okay. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rajesh Taneja, for the well prepared and informative video on the cystoscopic description of interstitial cystitis. Uh, the pathology is well described, sir, and it's well characterized. Uh, I found it uh, more informative than uh, in any textbook that I read. Um, uh, because the lesion characteristics and everything is described so well. So I think uh, it is treasure uh, that we found the treasure today uh, in this platform. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rajas.